Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a very, very quick one, but it's an important one. If you are a VPN user or considering getting a VPN, one of the biggest drawbacks is your speed depreciation. That means it gets so slow that you just can't even stream. So what's the purpose of having one? So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to speed that up. It's an important video, especially if you wanna protect your network, have full access to content from all over the world, you definitely want to have a VPN. So this is gonna speed it up. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing the demonstration on how to speed up your VPN on a 4K Fire Stick Max. Now it doesn't matter what device you're using, but just for the ease of this video, I will be doing it on a 4K. K max. Now, what do you want to do when you're speeding up your VPN? There's a few things. First of all, pick a good one. Pick one that has lots of servers because that's the key to speeding it up. It's going to be a quick video, guys, but it's going to, I'm going to share with you specific VPNs that you should be choosing and then of those VPNs, how to manipulate it. Now, I did a poll and I asked my subscribers which VPN they're using and I was actually quite surprised that more than half of my subscribers were actively using IP Vanish. Now, I've done videos on other VPNs that are very, very fast. IP Vanish has gotten better, and one of their big, well, they have a couple big strengths, and so we're gonna talk about that in today's video. So I'm not gonna talk about it here. I'm just gonna show it to you. Let's get on the TV. Let's go. All right, got you close on the screen here. As you can see, I've got a few VPNs here, and I also have a speed tester. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do to be able to make sure that you get the maximum speed out of your VPN, whichever VPN you use, is to have a speed tester. So how do you find that speed tester? The one I like is Analyti. It's the most accurate. It really breaks it down, and I'll show you on this video what I mean by that. So go to find, go to search, and just type in speed test. That's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and do that really fast here. All right, so speed test right here. If you click on that, you're gonna see all kinds of choices for speed tests. This one right here is without question the best. Pretty much all the industry experts use this one right here, and that is the Analyti Speed Test and Wi-Fi Analyzer. So go ahead and install that. Let's go ahead and open it up. Right now I do not have a VPN running. It will automatically test my speed. So the speed that I have right now on this device with no VPN looks like it's going to be right around 66, 67, okay, 69. Now your upload speed, it doesn't really matter when you're streaming, it's more for uploading to like YouTube, things like that, but it's nice to see that as well. Now after the speed test is done, there are check marks below. So this is important to look at. So Wi-Fi wi strength, Wi-Fi quality, internet speed, you want all green check marks if you can, all the way up to at least 4K gaming. 8K is the future, so if you can have that as well, you're doing very, very good. So the first thing to find out is always what is your speed before the VPN. So I've got 69. Remember that number, 69. So let's go ahead and hit home on your remote. Let's go ahead and go to IP Vanish's app. And I'll also test ExpressVPN so you can see if it's worth paying just a little bit extra for ExpressVPN. So let's check out IP Vanish. Now IP Vanish, as I mentioned before, has probably one of the best apps for VPNs. In fact, I think it is the best app. Just the ability to change locations, really, really easy to do. So let me show you how to do that real quick. If you click on country, you're gonna be able to see all the different countries that there are. As you can see, it's really easy to find streams that you want. So let's say I wanted to go to Portugal to get some of that content. You'll go to best city, and there's only one, it's Lisbon. So go ahead and click on Lisbon and then servers. You can see how many servers they have in Lisbon and their ping speed right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the United States and we'll go ahead and launch it. United States, let's go ahead and pick a city. Let's just do, they say to pick ones that's closest to where you live, but I find that that's not always the best. So you can test a few different ones, but we're gonna go ahead and just do New York. And then you can select a server manually. Might as well just keep best available and let them do all of the work with that. So let's go ahead and connect it and test the speed. And then we're gonna show you some settings on IP Vanish here in just a second. So we are connected. Now, just right out of the box without changing anything, let's see what the difference is on the speed. So we were at 69 before we had the VPN running, and we are currently at 61. So very, very little 
diminished speed. Now, the speed difference between a VPN and not having a VPN might be more significant for you, and it depends on the VPN you're using. You definitely want a good one, and IPVanish does a pretty good job of maintaining that speed. So you're only losing a very, very little bit. And as you can see, all check marks. So this is a good thing. <clears throat> so let's go back home, and let's look at the settings in IPVanish. Let's go ahead and disconnect it. And we're going to go up to the top right hand corner gear. Now this is where you're going to be able to see all kinds of things like the split tunneling, how to scramble it if you're in a country or you're traveling to a country where there are sensors. And then you've got uh, the VPN protocol. Now this is what I want you to look at right here. So if you click on VPN protocol, the default is open VPN. There's also IKEV2 and then there's WireGuard. Now WireGuard is the newest one. Now, just to explain these a little bit better, it's just different technology for VPNs. WireGuard is their best and fastest servers available, supposedly, but we're going to test that today. And the reason why is they use more of a uh, security first protocol. It's more stable when you have a slower signal. So in your case, when you test this, it might actually be faster with WireGuard than OpenVPN. They say it's up to three times faster than the IKEV2 and 10 times faster than OpenVPN. But as you can see with what we have here working, there wasn't much of a difference between not having a VPN and having a VPN. We went 69 to, I think it was 61. So let's go ahead and do WireGuard. And we're going to go ahead and connect it, keeping everything else the same. We'll see what the difference is here. So we are connected. Let's go back to the speed tester. All right, starting the ping, now it is starting the speed test. All right, so when we are connected to the wire guard, we're at 67, so it's almost as if we didn't even have a VPN on, yet we get all the security features, you get all the stability. If you have a slower connection, it is gonna be a lot simpler and it will have, uh, as you can see here, a little bit faster speed. All check marks, so we're good here. So we went from 69 down to 61, and just by changing that wire guard, which again is in settings, right up here, and down here to VPN protocol, just by changing to wire guard, we increase that speed to, as if we didn't even have a VPN going yet, we get all of the security of it. If you are picking a VPN, guys, make sure that it's one that is fast, one that does not diminish your speed. If you're using maybe a free one or one that every time you test it, test the one you have and test the speed, but without, with and without the VPN, if you notice a significant difference, maybe upgrade to IPVanish or ExpressVPN. Again, the number one VPN in the world for streamers right now is IP vanish. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a very, very quick one. I just wanted to share with you how to get the fastest servers because that's really the key to a faster VPN and a better streaming experience. And I did this demonstration on IP vanish. And the reason I did that again was because my subscribers use it, the majority of them. And I was pleasantly surprised with the improvements of IP vanish over the years. I also always knew that IP vanish had the best app for finding the fastest servers. One of the big hesitations I had was the geo unlocking or the restrictions on Netflix because I use Netflix myself and it no longer is an issue with them. So that is a huge bonus. Plus they're very inexpensive. So if you are looking for a VPN and you want to get IP Vanish or Ivacy or ExpressVPN, any of the three that I recommend, I will put links in the description section of this video right below the video. Just click the title if you're using a cell phone and you can get to the description section and that will just be the lowest price. It's also an affiliate link so it does help support this channel. So if you want to help support this channel, go ahead and click that link if you do want to get a VPN. Thanks again everyone for supporting this channel. If you're new to my channel, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button right down below. Turn on notifications so you're notified of future videos. Thanks again everybody. Bye.